the mad scene. It's a great operatic convention, and we have one this season in Lucia, and of course we have a great other mad scene in Boris Gudanov. This time for a man. Yes, one of the rare times. <laughs> but it's brilliant too, it's wonderful. It's a great story. It's a great story because it's a sort of... Psychodrama. Psychodrama because it's the, the sort of, as it were, the disintegration of, of his mind th through guilt more than anything else. That's right, and that's right. His rise to power through murder and mayhem uh, and then his death with this terrible sense of his own sin weighing yes. on him. It's the whole expression of remorse, I think, that so makes this, his character somehow um, more interesting. Despite his, his terrible deeds, you, you yes. feel the, his pain, and therefore yeah. in, you end up feeling empathy for him. And I think Because there are so many characters in opera who are, it's usually about power, greed. Yeah. Um, just simply wanting something, and, and that exists all over the place, and it can sometimes be two-dimensional. In this case, it's much richer. And you know, this marvelous opera about this extraordinarily sort of bloodthirsty man almost, written the year that Mahatma Gandhi was born, isn't that sort of I ironic? I know, ironic. We have, uh, I think, one of the greatest exponents of this role, Ferruccio Furlanetto, who, who yeah. have you worked with Ferruccio? A lot. I did yeah. a lot of, I sang a lot of my Mozart repertoire with him in the beginning of my career. He sounds phenomenal. Yeah. Talk about maintaining your voice. And this is the glamour role for bass. Oh yes, it's the, they, they fight for the privilege of singing it. So you have Silvestrelli also, who I heard in your ring, doing uh, one of the giants, I think, and I was convinced he was amplified. <laughs> Now, this is one of, the voice. <laughs> it's one of the world's biggest voices, but he could right. also be very, how should I put it, dainty, almost, <laughs> you know. So this is a, an artist of, of great versatility. Fantastic. It is one of the great chorus operas. And you've we, got a great chorus here. We Phenomenal. have a great chorus, and, and I'm, I'm longing to see them showcased in this. And the music, don't you find, I feel like the orchestrations and also the vocal writing, and even the sound of Russian orchestras is low. Yes. It's lower pitched, it's a lower, deeper quality. And as a consequence, it has this wonderful richness of, uh, of, of texture. Well, Russian history and culture, they're often t it's often tinged with a kind of melancholy or dark side of things, and uh, that's why we love it so much. It just, it's fascinating, yeah. and in this case, kind of twisted, and a lot of times it's true. So yes. It's real history. Well, it, it is, you're right, it's that sort of blackness in the Russian soul, isn't yeah. it? That, that it's cold, it's... it's cold up there. Yes. <laughs> Oh!